Hey guys, welcome to Titanium Man Garage. And uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. I've got hundreds of videos and uh, hit the bell if you want notifications for my upcoming videos. Uh, this is my latest project. I've got a 05 Scrambler 500 that's got some uh, issues going on. Now I've been going through this thing and uh, I can get her to run. She idles fine, she drives up and down uh, good, but uh, if I give her the throttle hard, uh, it just wants to choke out, or if I uh, tow something behind it, it just wants to choke out and die. First thing I went through the car, made sure the car was clean, make sure I didn't have any issues with that, and I uh, went ahead and uh, saw a little black smoke coming out of the tailpipe, and it told me a couple things. It told me the valves weren't opening correctly, Timing was off. So the first thing I did was I pulled the rocker cover off and I wanted to check the uh, uh, the rocker to valve clearance. And as I was taking it apart, I noticed I had a lot of slop in this chain. Another thing I noticed is I've got uh, a little bit of free play going on up here, which is not normal. So that's telling me that the chain stretched. Um, the tensioner up here, I'll show you that. Tensioner up here is probably maxed out. I'm going to pull that out. Um, yeah, because uh, what it's doing is uh, the engine's rotating, and this is kind of as sloppy as this is with that much play in it. Now the crank isn't turning; it's just the cam turning. And as loose as I see this chain is, that chain needs to get replaced. And I need to uh, reset the valves. Let me show you another engine I got over here. Almost the same identical engine. And uh, there's no free play. And this is nice and tight. I think the story on this engine was the, um, the piston seized up. So I'm gonna take the chain off of that and the tensioner and I'm gonna put it on this bad boy. Hopefully that'll correct my issues. Uh, like I said, I was uh, blowing a little black smoke which right away was telling me that the uh, the valves were an opening at the correct time, um, or could be possible uh, valve seals uh, are leaking. So here's my quick tip of the day. So if you've got a scrambler or even a Sportsman 500 for that matter that's uh, uh, spit and sputtering, backfiring when you give it full throttle, check your timing, check your chains. I've shot a couple videos now on how to build Polaris 500 engines, and I can't stress enough you know, replace that chain. The chain stretches, you know, especially if this has got, uh, I think this has over 4,000 miles on it. Uh, you know, things wear out, things, things stretch out. Uh, put a new chain in that. I got one ordered and uh, I'm gonna reset the valves and the timing. And hopefully I'll be good to go. All right, also as I'm checking the valve clearance, I got this at top dead center and this is not, going underneath here at all. And this is uh, 0 .006, that's what your uh, your valve clearance is. Um, the other side, the exhaust side is loose. This is the intake side. That's pretty tight. So that would explain why it was probably uh, blowing some black smoke. That and uh, the chain slop. And when this thing was running, I did notice a little chain slop. I could hear uh, little rattling noise in the engine. And so that was my first clue that something uh, was going on with that chain. All right, so I went ahead, pulled the stator, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to line up, uh, see the mark there, the mark on the gear. Can't see it because the chain's in the way. And uh, the two top divots. With the mark down here, once you get the crank lined up with this mark. And I have a video on this and I'll post a link how to do this. Um, it's actually pretty simple. You know, it's a lot easier to do uh, any kind of uh, timing if you want to set your timing by doing it this way. Yeah, it's a little messy because you got to pull the stator off. But uh, then you know you're exact. You got the mark on the case right here, and there's a mark on the crank. I should say the uh, the gear and your two marks up here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace that chain. 
and then reset my rockers and uh, I should be ready to go. So I discovered something new. I thought uh, there was slack in the chain and the chain was uh, stretched. But as I'm uh, rolling on the cam back and forth, watch this little gear down here. It moves and the crank stays. You see that? And I also noticed this nut is loose. So, what I'm thinking is the keyway. All right, so if you watch that keyway, now the nuts move, there's slop in that gear in that keyway. The crank's not moving, the gear or the sprocket is. So, I'm going to take the chain off, loosen that, pull that out, and see what's going on because. Uh, that's obviously throwing the timing off and uh, throwing off the uh, the valves, which is probably why it's blowing a little black smoke. I'm sure uh, intake's opening before the uh, exhaust should be. Um, something something's not right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that apart. See if that keyway is worn. And I'm gonna take the chain tensioner off first, then the uh, cam sprocket, and then uh, I'll go from there. Looks like that uh, tensioner's maxed all the way out too. Press that in. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Let it drop down. Get that chain out. at a sprocket <clears throat> and see if there's any uh, wear in there and I'm looking at this keyway oh yeah okay I just happen to have another sprocket I'm gonna give that a try Might have to replace that keyway. Okay, that's got some slop in it. You know, we can see that keyway that's right here. Oh, it's actually about ready to come out. <laughs> I'm gonna pull that out and, and inspect it. Um, it's probably worn out, so I'm gonna replace it. All right, so here's that keyway. She's got a nice groove in it. Maybe you can see that in the camera. See that line going across there. All right, so I just replaced that keyway. And uh, let me show you how she fits now. Nice and snug, it's not moving. Just gonna pop that in there and put the chain back on. All right, so I went ahead and I tightened her up real tight. And now I'm in the middle of uh, setting uh, the timing. <clears throat> so there's a timing mark here, there's a timing mark on the sprocket. There's a silver link on the chain. And up on top. There's two marks there. Two silver links. You line that all up and your timing should be right on. And then all you have to do is uh, adjust the uh, valve lash between the rockers. Let me show you. She's nice and tight now. I'm wiggling the cam sprocket and that is not moving. So my guess is this nut came loose, the uh, sprocket was moving in and out, wore the keyway, and uh, threw the timing off. So yeah. And uh, also don't forget to tighten that nut when you put it back on. I just uh, moved that out of the way to make the chain go in and out easier. And once I get this bad boy back together, 
I'll show you how she runs. All right, guys. So I was gonna show you how it fires up, and uh, I started it up, and it uh, idled for a couple seconds, and then nothing. So I've been going through my carbs, thinking, uh, okay, uh, maybe I'm getting too much gas. I saw some uh, gas coming out of the carb. And uh, it got me thinking, let me double check the timing. You can see I got the T for uh, top dead center. And now that I'm looking at my, uh, my cam gear, the two divots aren't on uh, the top like they should be. So I started pulling the flywheel off. And let me show you what I found here. Alright, I pulled the bolt. Get you in the light here. I had sheared the keyway off. So keep that in mind too if you're having issues with, uh, with it not starting. My keyway is actually on the bottom. That threw the timing completely off. So here I thought, uh, here I was cleaning the carbs, trying to go, go through everything. I thought, well, let me double check my timing because uh, after two or three revolutions, the chain will make the tensioner move a little bit. And uh, you just want to ch double check your valve lash after that because the chain will tighten up. So, yeah, yeah, here I'm trying to fire it up and uh, run for a couple seconds and die. So, keep that in mind. That could be one of your issues. You know, you shear the keyway off, the timing's gonna be completely off. Because uh, this little part right here won't engage with that. that. That's your pulse coil. That tells your spark plug when to fire. So if, you're, if your uh, keyway is sheared off and your flywheel's off, and it'll spark at the wrong time. Uh, how I figured it out was uh, I saw gas shooting out of the carb. So that meant the uh, exhaust valve was opening on the intake stroke, uh, blowing uh, fuel back out the car. Thought I'd show you that quick little tip. Keep that in mind if you're having issues uh, with it not starting. There you have it. Hard to get a good shot, but you can see the white little dot through the pull start cover. That's the T telling you you are at top dead center. My two little dimples on the cam gear are in the right spot. So now I just gotta tighten everything down. I'm gonna double check the valve lash. That should be good to go. Right, so what would cause your keyway to shear off like that? Um, one thing I can think of right now is I was uh, messing around with my carburetors and I grabbed uh, an aftermarket carburetor and I put it on and once I went to fire it up I noticed it was leaking gas out of the bottom so I'm thinking fuel got into the cylinder and hydro locked it so you know obviously it's not going to spark pistons pushing up push compresses all the uh, fluid inside and at the same time while you're starting it, would shear off the keyway for the flywheel. Make sure I drain the case, make sure there's no fuel down, down at the bottom. I'm gonna try firing it up uh, with the spark plug out to make sure there's no more gas in the cylinder and uh, go from there. Hopefully I can get this bad boy fired up. Yet. There you have it. Problem solved. It's running good. Let me show you what this bad boy can do.